Welcome to the third stage of our creation process. I'm just going to add a little bit more detail on top of the red ceiling in that color before we go into the final stage, which is black.
So this is the final dye stage of Pisanki when we go into our final color, which is normally black as it's the most striking when we melt off all the wax and can really see our designs. After this, um, we'll let it soak for about 10, 15 minutes, depending on how really black you want it to be. And we'll dry it off and then go into the oven. Okay, so now we're gonna take the egg out of the final coat of dye, which was black for this egg. And I'm gonna dry it off and put it in the oven um, at about 350 degrees. And we're gonna watch it because we don't wanna bake the egg. We just want to melt the wax off so we can see the final egg. All right, so here we go for the first bake. And again, we wanna watch this because we don't wanna cook the egg. So the way I do it is I watch it until it just starts to glaze, like shimmer a little bit, so I know the wax is melting. And then I take it out of the toaster um, and I wipe the wax off and then I just keep putting it back in the toaster and taking it back out, wiping it off back in the toaster until all the wax is off the egg. So you can already tell it's just starting to shimmer a little tiny bit. I'm gonna wait just another second and here I go. And you can see just this much wax came off. Um, so we're gonna have to keep doing this and keep doing this until we get all the wax. But be patient um, and make sure you keep watching the egg. Every time you take some wax off the egg, the design is going to reveal itself a little bit more. See more of the design of the egg is coming starting to come through still have a lot more wax on that side that needs to go it's really starting to go now Okay, I'm just gonna put this in for a couple more seconds. And you can see um, by my towel just how all the wax is starting to come off. Remember, we don't wanna cook the egg, so we gotta keep taking this out. Actually, I think that's good. So I'm just gonna keep, just smear a little bit leftover wax that's on there. Be careful. All right, and there is your almost finished Pisanki egg. So now we're gonna go over and blow out the yolk. Um, this is one of the final processes before we decide to glaze the egg. So to do this, I have this little egg blower pump. Um, we're gonna poke a hole in the bottom of the egg with a safety pin. Um, and then we're just gonna lightly stick this in, stir it around just a little bit, gently, gently, um, and then use this button to pump out the yolk. I've gotta get a container. Okay. 
Okay, so be careful on the stage not to drop the egg. If you do, it will certainly break on the glass. Um, we're gonna just gently poke that hole with a safety pin in the bottom of the egg here. This is probably the most nerve wracking part of the entire Pisanki egg. Um, Cause you do not want to shatter it. You do not want to drop it. You can see that that hole I poked right there, it's still just a little bit small. So I'm going to keep going gently, gently. So as not to crack the egg. Just chipping away, making the hole bigger, slowly one poke at a time. When you're happy with it, um, go ahead and stick in the needle. Just twist it around a little bit. And now we're gonna start pumping. Not too hard or you will shatter the egg. Nice and slow. Okay, a little wipe down, and here is your egg. So when it's been about a day, day and a half, and all the dyes are thoroughly, thoroughly cured, I like to go over it with this um, Rust-Oleum Universal Clear Top coat gloss and that'll give it that really super shiny effect and it'll also make it a little bit stronger and help to preserve the egg. Um, again they're not going to be they're always going to be very very fragile and um, remember they are just chicken eggs um, but if you put the top coat on you will get that shiny effect and they'll be a little bit more um, sturdy while handling. Mm -hmm.